Hi, welcome to Entropy. This is my solo exhibition at Gosford Regional Gallery. Uh, Entropy came about primarily because my studio and garage and a friend's garage became full of what I call must-haves from the road. So um, I thought, I can't really stop this, but I can collect smaller pieces. And then it's almost like the chuck out spoke to me and said, why not photograph and draw and put together a series of works based on, and some of these chuck outs are very creative in themselves. So, so what is a, what is a chuck out? A chuck out is now part of Australian culture whereby on a weekly basis in different areas uh, collected items. So it's a rubbish chuck out. It, it is rubbish. Yeah. Um, but that was your word. I, I've never seen it. Oh, no, no. I see it as piles of sculpture. I see it as product. Yes. And what what would be um, your most inspirational item that you found in a chuck out? Oh dear, that's a big question. Um, I, I, I actually found a, um, what do they call those things for pools? Oh, a filter. Filter. Yeah. A filter for an above-ground pool, yeah. and uh, it, it's made out of a woody sort of stuff. Uh, but there was a, a broad gap where they'd obviously cut it away from where it was attached. But I immediately saw it as a spacecraft. <laughs> yeah. But as I spent more time with it, it grew into oh, oh I had just been for the first time to the Elvis Festival of Parks. Yes. And when I came back to the filter, yes. I saw it possibly as an alien spaceship that came to Parks for one purpose only, to capture an Elvis impersonator. Patrick Carroll and his exhibition Entropy. He's been talking about Elvis. So does Elvis inspire your work? Much? Um, I went to Parks not as a performer, although I have done the odd white suit yeah. performance. Um, but having said that, nah, there were too many Elvises there to compete with. Yeah. I went as a painter because I think it's 25 years old now, yeah. the Elvis um, Festival. Yeah. And I just thought it's now, it's a bit like entropy. I see this in artistic terms as social realism mm. because of the unique nature of Australian chuck yeah. Similarly, the way Parks has embraced Elvis there's a sort of an Australian ownership for a unique performer who never came to Australia. So Patrick, you live on the Central Coast. What uh, rock star should we uh, coin as our star? Oh, gee, look, gee, oh, another question from, without notice. I'm Jana, sorry. Without notice. Um, 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 <laughs> uh, well, uh, I put a, uh, a photograph of myself on Facebook just recently yes. Yes. Um, with a uh, headband on, yes. which I quite often wear because this is a very difficult, sweaty occupation, believe it or not. Um, and someone on Facebook said I looked like Olivia Newton-John. <laughs> And I was walking down the steps from my studio today yeah. and unbeknownst to the Facebook comment, 
one of my friends said, here comes Olivia Newton-John. So I think we should have Olivia Newton-John. Thank you, Patrick Carroll. A and pleasure, Yanni Johns. Thank you. So where is it on at? It's at the Gosford Regional Gallery. Until? Until the 27th of June. That's 2017. That is it. Thank you, Patrick Carroll. A pleasure, Yanni Johns. painting is very interesting and it shows a beautiful interpretation of what's happening in the world today. A world where the seas are full of rubbish, plastic, junk, floating in the Pacific Ocean and all around. Look at this painting. It it takes you in, it draws you in. We have the sky, dark as it is, tankers floating on the horizon, a helicopter representing the vertical view of what gets washed up on the beach. The breaking waves, the cool Viridian sea, and the warmer green breaking. What we have here, plastic glasses, cans, big cap cans, we have balloons, tape, cigarette rind, we have a lots and lots of rubbish. Yes, so Steve, you uh, think this is a great representation of the planet today? This is a representation, a representation by an artist who is sensitive to what's happening to our planet. Most people don't care and they don't think. Is they go about their, their lives not thinking about what their actions. Is there any hope, Steve? There is hope if we focus on what we do. Thank you.